Hi friends, Robin here with Matman and Robin. Welcome to the channel where I like to inspire, encourage, and include you in packing Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes year round. It's been like a month <laughs> and I'm sorry, but Matt and I have been working on a project um, that I will share with you at the end of the video. It's actually really important and I have a question about it. Um, so if you don't want to watch this video, at least skip to the end and see that question and answer in the comments below because I just, um, it has to do with the channel moving forward and how I keep hanging out with you guys. So without any further ado, let's get into this box. This is a big, huge Ikea box and it is packed full with lots of fun goodies for a boy aged two to four. It is actually a dino box and I'm so excited to show it to you. I don't always pack in these boxes, but sometimes when I have things that are larger that need to go in the box, I will send up this size box. And rarely do I send this size box for a kiddo two to four because usually their items are smaller and easier to go in a box and teenagers usually have bigger, bulkier things that need this size. But I just couldn't with this little boy and I had to include all of the fun items and I can't wait to show you. So let's take off this rubber band Ooh. and get into the box. Now this box is $2 and it's from Ikea and I think it's great, especially for Barbies and like I said, larger stuff like soccer balls. But if you want a better quality, more durable, longer lasting plastic box. I recently did a video on those. I will link it below if you are curious about plastic boxes. So I'm gonna open this up and this is what he will see right on top is this big, beautiful bag that I got for him on clearance at Walmart. A lot of this stuff I've had for, gosh, I'm gonna say two plus years and I just haven't gotten around to putting it in a box and showing you guys. So here is his bag, it's amazing. It's such great quality. On the inside, can you hear? It's like a, a really thick plastic or vinyl, almost like a outdoor furniture. Um, and see it's, it's big and plastic in here and he will be able to use this for years to come and especially to get all of his goodies to wherever he calls home. I just love the print. Now I do wanna point out that there is sort of I can't tell if it's like a camo print or just a funky shapes behind the dinosaurs print, but I wanted to take this opportunity to say that if this is a camo print, something like this that is um, multicolored and funky shaped, this is allowed, especially because it is not clothing. So um, we want to avoid military looking items, uh, military looking clothing. We don't want the child to be um, confused or swayed if they're living in a war-torn country. But this is clearly just fun, funky shapes. Uh, even if it is considered a camouflage, it is a funky camo. So this kind of stuff is allowed. Next, oh, I love his stuffy. This makes the whole box. This little guy I actually got on after Easter clearance last year, so in 2022, and he has just been waiting and waiting for the perfect little box. He's got this corduroy feel. They do have dinos very, very similar to this at Hobby Lobby if you are curious or wanting something like this for your box. <laughs> Gotta take a drink. Drink break with Bucky's. I also have included a crank flashlight. We all know how much I love these. You can get these online at Amazon. Sometimes they have them periodically at Dollar Tree and I get mine from Daiso. Then um, I have this, which I'm gonna wait and show you at the very end. Um, but this is kind of one of the reasons why I wanted a bigger box. Um, here is his book, and this is also a reason I needed a bigger box. This is a huge book. I did get this at Dollar Tree. Um, it is a Greenbrier, if you can see on there. It is Greenbrier, so that means that this is there, produced by them, and they will have it 
um, in multiple stores across the country. It's not just a one-time thing in a local store. So if you like this book, keep your eye out. It is beautiful. Um, let me see. The illustrations are so fun and amazing and the words are big and bold. Uh, it's also really great quality and the dinosaurs are adorable. But even in a plastic shoebox, which I like to pack regularly, which is about the size of a regular OCC Go box, this was gonna be too big even folded over because of how large it is. So this book is another reason that I needed to go with a larger Ikea box, and I think that's fine. And I know that there are some really great YouTubers out there and a lot of you that just do Go boxes, and I think that's beautiful. I think the reason behind that is great, but I also think that it is okay to listen to your heart and sometimes pack a bigger box when the things that you have to go in it uh, just need to be sent. I've put off sending these because of some of their size and you know what? I just said today is the day. So the next things I have in here, these are some really cute mittens and they have dinos all over them. My mom got these for me as a gift to put in my OCC box. And I have, these are really adorable dinosaur socks. Now these are actually from a pack of Toy Story box socks. And it has Rex on there. Can you see him? If the kiddo's foot was in there. So cute. Um, he's actually a toy dinosaur, which is perfect for this box. I know some people don't like to do dinosaurs because they think they are scary, but I guarantee you this is a super fun box with super cute dinos and very little um, teeth, if you want to put it that way. A very fun and friendly dino box. Here is his pencil pack. Now this is a little bit smaller because he is two to four but I did give him some really important things in here to grow with him and to eventually be able to take to school. Um, so there are pencils and a set of blunt ended scissors. There are two pencil sharpeners, this amazing pencil from, pencil, click pin from Lynette. I like to do the click pins in the two to four so there's no lid for them to put in their mouth. Uh, but this click pen has different sayings on it. So cute. She got this at Oriental Trading. There's crayons in here from Jessica from Foothills Family. Uh, but I also have some other fun things. There's a few dino stickers. And again, these are just the most adorable dinos. Nothing scary. Super cute and cuddly. Um, so if you've ever wanted to do a dino box but you were afraid to, there is that. Now there are some things that I've put in here that are more realistic and um, you can skip these, but I love these. I saw these, um, I think it was Diana Ruth, I hope I said your name right, who put these in her pencil packs and I love them, so I bought them and I did go ahead and put one of each card in here for this kiddo. They are beautiful cards with different dinosaur scenes on them. They're very realistic. They're not all scary, um, but very realistic so that the child can learn about the dinosaurs in this book. And on the back are a bunch of, I guess they're technically trivia questions, but to me it's just education and knowledge. So if anyone around him reads English, he will have this for his little growing brain. Um, there's also in here um, a googly eye and a cross that I used to get at Hobby Lobby, but I think they discontinued them, so I'm on the hunt for a new place to find crosses. This is so fun. Um, I have this little note on here that I'm gonna take off before I repack it, but I didn't want to forget that this was given to us by Valerie. Um, and so this is from Amazon, and I will link it below. Anything that's from Amazon will be linked below. But on here, it's an animal balance game. And this image is actually of animals, but inside are these dinosaurs. Um, I don't always send packaging, but this box actually has a fair amount of the packaging just because it packed easier in there. But here is what they look like. They're so cute. It's a great set of blocks with dinosaurs and I love them and I'm so grateful Valerie that I'm finally getting to send this in this cute dino box for a boy two to four it's perfect 
he's going to love it. Um, so I'm gonna set this aside. Actually, I'm gonna move some stuff around. Okay, then I have my handy dandy little um, bandana that I like to include in most boxes. Even though this one is not a clear box, I'm still including this absolutely adorable bandana that you can get from um, Oriental Trading Company. And then inside of it, I kind of have it folded like a little um, packet of hygiene goodies. In here, he has a green comb, a green toothbrush with an orange cap, and a green spoon from Ikea. I love to send these. Um, no matter where the child lives, if they live in a rural village, or if they are on the Sahara Plains, or if they live in the jungle, or if they're an inner city kiddo, or maybe they're the pastor's kiddo and they are more um, well off than other kiddos that will be receiving these boxes. I still think that these are great things to include no matter where this ends up, the child can use it. Um, I also have a pair of underwear in here for him. These are small, just Hanes underwear. I believe they are a size six. So for two to four, he has plenty of time to grow into these larger underwear. And um, this beautiful bandana was given to us by Lynette. So thank you so much for these great things in these boxes. Here is the rest of his hygiene items. Um, this is a soap saver and a soap. The soap I get is Jergens. It is from Dollar Tree. This is one of those amazing washcloths that you can get on Amazon, linked below, and it was from Valerie as well. There's also a chapstick in here and a set of nail files from Angie. So here is the rest of his hygiene pack to keep him healthy and strong. I recently got this and after Easter clearance. Look at the little Easter egg down there. So cute. Um, and it's just blank paper for him to draw in. Now we're to the toy level and um, I can't really pick up the box. Let's just move some stuff. I can pick up the box. I can be a grown up. Here we go. Okay, because look at all this fun in here. Can you see how much fun is packed in here? Oh my goodness. So, he has some toy dinosaurs. Um, these three, um, this orange one and blue one and green one with these beautiful eyes. I actually got these in a set of five and two more in a different dinosaur box, which I will do really soon. Um, but I got them for, um, I want to say less than five dollars because I got them during Dollar General's buy one get one 75% off. So as long as you're getting things that cost the same, you can equalize the cost um, and get more and better quality toys. And I just think that these are perfect. They're so cute and so much fun. And then at my Kroger, because guys, you know, Kroger is the jam. Um, they had all of these dinos, so many dinos on sale for like 30 something cents. And I picked up 22 of them. I ended up putting two of them in here. They are a little bit scarier, but still you have to have a T-Rex and you have to have a Triceratops. And I loved his color or her color, this dino's color, because I thought it went really well with this and just kind of rounded out the fun colors in this box very primary colory looking. Um, then I also have here down on the side, this fun poppet, so fun for little fingers to push these in and out. Again, I got this on um, after Easter clearance last year in 2022. I also have finally found a box that I can put these amazing blocks in. Again, another reason why I needed a larger box because this is wider than most boxes. Um, that are sent to OCC. So I finally found a place for this. I got this on uh, clearance at Target several years ago for $1.50. Isn't it amazing? Look at that, so much fun. And I think it will go really well with his dino blocks. So I also have this hat. This cute, adorable hat came with his bag with this cute, fun dino on there. 
I have two cars in here. I thought I had dyno cars for him, but I don't. So I just grabbed two random cars out of my um, stash of Hot Wheels from my dad. This is a whistle from Oriental Trading. It works great. They're fine. They're fun if you want these um, wristbands on there. I prefer the metal ones. This though works great and it's great for kiddos. So also from Valerie, she has so much in this box is this really fun set of um, friendship bracelets. So I put two bracelets on here and this says one for me and one for you. So, so much fun. The bracelets are from Valerie. I also have in here another thing that's still in the packaging but I think that it, it packs better this way and it shows the kiddo what all is in here. Um, it is a set of bath dinos and these are a little bit more realistic, but I hope by showing you all the cute kitty ones that you can be inspired to do a cute kitty dino box if you don't wanna include things like this. I personally think these are awesome and educational and I do not consider them scary at all, uh, but that is up to you. So now we're down to the flat things in the bottom of the box, and then I'm gonna show you what I'm really excited about with this box. Here is a set of color forms um, with this different background, and then including with these really fun dinosaur stickers. This is a character, um, and I don't know what he is a character of. Like, what is he called and what is his name? I don't know but I've seen this guy in multiple things before. So all it says on here is the Jim Henson Company, which I think is pretty cool. So again, cute dinos, not scary stickers. And then I recently found this at Dollar Tree, a fun dinosaur coloring book. I don't recommend getting coloring books at Dollar Tree because you can find them for cheaper and usually a little bit better quality paper, but this just was perfect and I had to have it. And when I see the ones at Dollar Tree that fit the theme in the box perfectly, I know it's for that child and I pick it up. So um, again, the, the images are good and cute, but the paper is kind of thin. Um, so I think it's really good for a two to four year old and he has a set of crayons that he can use to play with his coloring book. And the last things down in here, this is a mask. And I am leaving it in the package as well so it doesn't get damaged. This was given to us by Tracy. So thank you so much, Tracy. And a notebook. I picked this up on clearance at Target. Um, on after, Actually, when I was looking for after Easter clearance, I saw this in just regular clearance and picked it up. I want to say it was like 30 cents, but I don't remember specifically. So now I want to show you something really fun that I've done with this box. If you can see right in here, this isn't even glued in. It's just, it's literally just sitting in there um, and the tension holds it into place. But this is the packaging that came with the little fat dinos. These guys, they, they were lined up here um, in a box just like that. And so I took the cardboard out of that packaging and put it on the back of this box. And then I made a felt play mat for it. I can't show you the one that I made because it's literally still drying. I just glued it all together with some tacky fabric glue and I'm waiting for it to dry and I'm afraid some of them might not have gotten stuck very well. So I'm debating whether I should use a little bit of hot glue or if I should hand stitch them. So let me know. But here is what it's going to be. Um, because I do have two dino boxes, I cut all of the pieces out twice and one of them is already glued and put together. But once it's all rolled up, it's going to be about this size because these are all the pieces. And when it's unrolled, I have printed out an image and put in there of what it looks like. So if you can tell the little felt mat, it's just a green piece of felt about 12 by 12 inches. And then this is a blue piece of felt that I cut out to look like a little stream or a waterfall um, and then so I, I'll just show you so here's the original felt piece that I cut into a um, square that fits perfectly inside the bottom of that box and then here is the water piece 
that it kind of looks like an elephant right now, but when I glue it down and then put all the little pieces alongside of it, it will turn out, it turns out so cute. Um, there are some little extra green strips that I just cut into kind of fringy pieces and put along the banks of the river and around the edge of the lake. And then here is some different colors of gray felt. It's not picking it up very well on the camera, but when you lay it down next to the green, it just comes out in different colors. And I literally just cut, you can tell like little circles, imperfect circles that look like rocks and put them around the edge of the lake. Um, I used a little bit of yellow felt to make sort of like flowery colors. And then my favorite piece, I don't know if you can see it, way back here in the back seat, I made little dino eggs. It's so cute and it's so much fun. And it was so easy. Um, I know that craft projects like this can look so intimidating, but honestly, this was stuff I had in my stash. In fact, I pulled it out of a box of... Um, thrift like to go to the thrift store <laughs> things and I just cut it up really quick and I'm gluing it together and it's going to make this box so much fun see the little flowers that I made and the little grass along the river so easy I promise you you can do it you can do this so that is my fun little project that I've been working on this morning getting this box all ready to go and now that's it for the box if that's all you're interested in, thank you guys for coming and I'll see you next time. But if you're here because we're friends, hi, I'm sorry, it's been a while. Um, and here is our life update. I probably should do this with Matt, but I'm so excited and I can't wait. And um, we have just told our family so I can finally tell my friends. I've, I've been like, Matt, come on, we have to tell family. We have to tell family because I wanna tell my friends that um, Matt and I have just been accepted to start the process of becoming adoptive parents. So our whole life is about to get flipped upside down and everything is new and exciting and scary and crazy and it's going to change this channel quite a bit. So my question that I talked about at the beginning is how much of our journey do you want to go on with us? Because I feel like we're friends and I wanna tell you about it, but I know that some of you are just here for OCC and you just need those tips and tricks to make these boxes so much fun um, for the kiddos that are going to receive them. Um, but it is our life and I'm going to be doing less boxes because life's about to get crazy, but I still want to include you in our life and going forward and just, keep you informed of our journey. So please let me know in the comments below. If you've made it this far, you're ob we're obviously friends. Um, so I, I just need to know what you guys really want. If you want me to keep this strictly OCC and do a lot less videos, that's totally fine, I get it. Um, but if you want me to include our adoption journey, um, then I am more than happy and willing to include that. Um, on this channel with you. It might change things a little bit and our focus might be more vlog style instead of me getting to sit down and just chat with you. But that's it. That is the update and we are so excited to go on this journey. And I'm sorry it's been so long since we talked, but there's just been so much that we've been doing. So that's it for today. And in case no one has told you, I love you lots. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.